I know I'm talking to a camera, but I always brush my teeth before I shoot a video. <laughs> Is it just me? Hi, I'm Oliver. Welcome to today's discussion. So today the discussion is not a review or a critique of a bo book, but rather a discussion of my own experience. And I want to know if it relates to anyone. So um, I'm French Canadian, so my native thong uh, language is French. Um, so I went to elementary school and high school uh, in French-speaking schools. And I studied English, you know, starting in elementary school, and I studied it uh, also in, um, in high school as well. And even though, you know, I was listening to music in French and in English, you know, I was watching uh, TV in French, movies in French, I mean, every time, every time, everything was either originally in French or it was dubbed or translated in French. So, growing up, when I was reading books, I was reading them either because they were in French or had been translated in French. So, I read tons of Stephen King books in French. Uh, I read Lucy Maud Montgomery and Anne of Green Gables series in French. I mean, the list goes on and on. And, you know, you study English, and at one point, you know, I decided that I wanted to read in English. And that point came with Harry Potter. So I discovered Harry Potter when the first movie came out in VHS. Remember kids, when things came out in VHS, that's how old I am. And um, I watched it and I was like, oh my God, this is great, I like it. And then I started reading the book, which by that point, uh, it had been published until the fourth book. So I read the first four Harry Potter in French. And then came The Order of the Phoenix. Now, you need to understand, Books, when they're translated in French, or I'm assuming in any other language, they always come out a lot later. I mean, in French, or in the case of the Harry Potter, we're usually talking a year later. We're not talking two weeks, we're talking 12 months later. So it came down to the Order of the Phoenix, and I was like, oh geez, I don't want to wait a year, you know, I just finished the first, fourth book, I could get my hands on the fifth book if only I read English. <gasps> Whatever, I think I'm ready, let's just read it. So, I purchased it online. It was my first internet purchase, purchase, and, um, because there was no, uh, library, uh, um, bookstores that sold the book in English, uh, where I was. So I ordered it online and I started reading. And that's what sort of put me on the path of reading in English. Now, the experience of reading Harry Potter was, I mean, challenging and difficult. It's, it, Obviously, it took me way longer to read this book it, as it would have been if it had been in French. Uh, but, I mean, I understood it completely. And granted, I had the advantage of already knowing the universe, the characters, um, a little bit. So, that's the book in question. And I got it with this cover, and it's a hard cover. But, I mean, there is still some stuff that I either did not understand or had trouble understanding. So obviously, the <laughs> first thing that I did not understand or I had trouble understanding was obviously Hagrid. I mean, I would seriously just glance over Hagrid's line and pray to God that I would still understand the stories nonetheless. I did. But it was tough. I mean, I don't know about you Anglophones people, if you had a problem understanding Hagrid, but as a non-native English speaker, Hagrid was quite the challenge. And um, also, since it's a you know fantasy book, there's a lot of, um, um, well not a lot, but there are vocabulary words that are invented. So an example is, sim simple example, Hogwarts. So in French it's Poudlard. So, Poudla, Hogwarts, I don't know how they got from which to which. I mean, for example, um, Neville Long, ne Neville, Neville Long Bottom, Bottom, they translated Long Bottom in French, but I mean, it's a literal translation, and I mean, I got it quickly, and um, I mean, a Professor Snape did also translated it. Uh, so, I mean, a Snape! Snape too, ha! Huh? Snape was. A rug. I mean, really? Snape to rug? I didn't get it. Anyway, so, you know, it's that type of 
you know, those little words just make me feel incompetent or I was reading, for example, and they were saying, you know, they're in Hogwarts, they're in Hogwarts, and I was just reading going, but when are they gonna get to school? Aren't they gonna go to school? Where's school? Aren't they supposed to be in school? Until I realized that Hogwarts was the name of the school. <laughs> so, yeah. But I mean, otherwise, it was a pleasant read and I didn't find it terrifying, so thanks to Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix, I started reading books in English. Now, why did I, why was it important to read in English? Um, first, well, patience is a virtue that I do not possess. So if I can get my hands on a book a year before it comes out in French, I will. So being able to read in English, you know, gives me the opportunity to read material when it actually comes out, come out without having to wait. So that's an important reason. The other thing is, as soon as you start speaking another language, you realize, try as you might, call it translation, whatever, blah, blah, blah. It just is different when it's in another language. It just is. It just is. You know, there's no such thing as a literal translation. It just ain't. It doesn't exist. And so I like the fact that I can read a book in its original language, which, you know, I still feel kind of a shame that I only speak two languages, but I mean, it's still a start. So that's why, you know, I appreciate or I, I forced myself to read in English. And then, and then the third main, oh well, yeah, there's also four, well, there's four reasons altogether, I would say. So another reason would be that um, if there's a book that's been written in another language, you know, maybe Russian, Spanish, Italian, whatever, chances are that it's going to be translated in English and then, if ever, it's going to be translated in French. So if I want to have access to foreign literature, or what I would consider to be foreign literature, the fact that I can speak English gives me access to this whole library of books that I would not have access to otherwise. And finally, and this is something that I realized, you know, within the past few years, books in English are so much cheaper than books in French. So, and, you know, sometimes, um, Books, for example, like J.K. Rowling's latest book, um, Casual Vacancy, never came out in hardcover in French. I like my books to be in hardcover. What can I say? So I have access to it in hardcover. And they're usually like the hardcover in English is often cheaper than the soft cover in French. So yeah, these are all the reasons why I like the fact that I can read in English. Now, thanks to Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix where it all started. But that's not all. I mean, the fact that I can speak French certainly gives me access to a library of books that are not translated in English. So, you know, that's why I'm sort of wrestling with the fact that I want to learn a third language to be able to have access to another library of books that might not be available in French or in English. But I mean, having access to a whole library of books in French, a whole library of books in English, I mean, that gives me access already to a whole lot of material. But if I did not speak French, for example, I would not have access or I would not know Christine Bruyère. And Christine Bruyère, this uh, lady right here, is my favorite uh, French author. She's a French-Canadian author and she wrote this wonderful series with the character of Maud Graham. I'm doing an anthology a series on my channel right now. And if I did not speak French, I would not have access to that, which would be a real shame. But granted, I mean, some, or a lot, well, some books in French, or a lot of books in French, I don't know the exact, the exact number, but I know that books in French are translated in English. So, you know, if you've never thought about foreign literature, you know, you can look at French-speaking authors that have been translated in English. I mean, obviously all the great, you know, classics like Victor Hugo, like Les Miserables, has been translated in English, and The Hunchback of Notre Dame, and, I mean, all of those, obviously, but there's also contemporary uh, novels that are, you know, currently being translated in English that you can have access to. Like, for example, Jean-Christophe Granger is a great, uh, he's from France. He writes great thrillers uh, um, and like a detective stories and whodunit type of things. And um, so this is The Crimson Rivers, which are available in English, and The Flight of the Storks. So that's why, like, translation is important. I know that I said that it it's not the same, but hey, at least you can be told a story 
that was created or invented in another language and still have access to it. So translation certainly has its benefits. One of the downfalls that I found, well, there's one downfall I found about uh, reading books in English is that if I hear about them from an English-speaking source, so for example, I heard about uh, The Night Trilogy by Anne Weisel uh, on an Oprah Winfrey episode. And I don't know, like, the, the name Elie Weisel does not sound French. Doesn't sound French to me. I hope it doesn't sound French to you either. But it doesn't sound French. And I heard about it on Oprah, and it was called The Night Trilogy, whatever. So I bought it, I read it, and then I, by the end of the book, I realized that the books were originally written in French. So the source material is in French. I could have read that in French, but I read it in English. But meh, too bad. I had already read it. I was not gonna read it again. In French especially, since it's a grueling read. I reviewed this on my channel. You can go and check it out. But um, especially Night um, is a grueling retelling of a, um, an experience of a Holocaust survivor. So it's quite something. But yeah, there you go. That was my own experience about becoming an English or about me starting to read in English. So, there you go. What, what are your thoughts on translation? Have you read books that were not written in English? Are you a non-native English speaker? So, let me know in the comments or if you have any other suggestions about what I should read. Whatever, you can always leave a suggestion either here or on Twitter, on Facebook. If you go and check out my uh, bookshelf tour video, I'm listing in there like the books that I possess but that I have not read. So if you want to help me sort out through all the books that I should, about all of those books, which one I should read first, you can also let me know there. So until next time, take care. Bye.